Alright, guys, this is going to be a video for PlayStation Portable running on custom firmware. Um, this is an emulator to emulate Super Nintendo on your PSP's system. Uh, simply what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to install this correctly and where to put the ROMs inside the emulator on the MSO or your memory stick for your PSP and run it on the system running on custom firmware. Now you have to be on custom firmware in order to do this and uh, that's that's about it all I gotta say and um, yeah so I will have the link for you guys on where to download this file so let's get to installing the emulator on the PlayStation Portable. Alright so here we are at the PSP and simply all we're going to do is check the firmware to prove to you that I'm running on custom firmware and you can clearly see that I'm running a 5.50 Gen D3 this is the fixed versions uh, and then simply all we're going to do is take a USB cable from the computer if I can grab it there we go and plug it into the PSP now judging on your firmware it might activate automatically it may not but just wait for, just put it in USB mode and then come to the PC alright at the PC the file I'm going to have you download is this right here, it's 7757SNES9XTYL0.4.2 RAR. What you're going to do right there is just simply double click on that and open it up with an extraction program. You may have one, you may not. If you don't, right click on the file and say extract all to your desktop or wherever you want to extract them to. You don't need to get fancy. And uh, just open up that folder that's inside there and you're going to see 1.0 and 1.5. What you're going to want to do is open up the oh, wrong one open up the 1.0 and you will see a folder that is labeled the SNES 9 XTYL. What you're going to do is open that up and you should see the following folders and files. Data, facts, profiles, ROMs, saves, and the eboot.pvp. Make sure all that is in there. Let's take a quick look at it one more time. And what you're going to do is go back to the folder that says SNES9XTYL and leave it at that. What you're going to do now is open up my computer and go to the removable drive for the PSP. And then what you're going to do is, if there isn't a folder already, create a game folder. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, oops, never mind. Create a PSP folder. Uh, go to the PSP folder and then go to the regular game folder and you should see your um, game folder thingies in there if you haven't had any then that sucks for you so what you're gonna do now let me open this up real quick do copy that alright so what you're going to do now is go to your extracted files and take the emulator, the SNES9XTYL folder and drag and drop that into the PSP game folder as you can see I'm doing right now. What you're going to do after that is let that copy over like so. Yeah man. Now after that open up that folder go to the ROMs and I just copied a ROM so I'm just gonna paste it in that folder so uh, there you go and um, yeah that's this is where the ROMs go and it has to be a SMC file so make sure it's .SMC if not this will not work I will have links for ROMs and stuff later um, I will make a video for Super Nintendo ROMs as well um, but other than that let's just focus on this emulator for now so yeah once that's done confirming that the SNES 9XTYL folder is in the PSP game folder we're just gonna come back to the PSP alright so back at the PSP we're gonna exit USB mode like so and what we're gonna do is simply scroll over to the memory stick and game and you should see the SNES 9XTYL 0.4.2 logo right there. Um, you might realize that I already have another one down here. That's besides the point. And this is the one that we're looking at. So it should be the first one on your list. Let's start the game. Do, 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 do. People texting me.
Hey, you motherfucker. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so now that we're back on track, because... Note to self, some fucking stupid thing had to happen with my computer. It's the same process, just something bullshit happened. There we go. And you're gonna see this come up. Uh, and just hit circle to start the ROM. And we're using Super Mario All-Stars because this is the only Super Nintendo game I play. Because everything else sucks! Ta-da! There you go. Super Nintendo. On your PlayStation Portable. Cool, huh? And then when you're done, just hit circle. Circle is going to be your confirmation button, and X is going to be the back button, just because that's the way it was set up on Super Nintendo, just to let you know. And all the controls are pretty much simple. So, um, yeah, so then you're just going to exit the game and call it a day, and there you go, you have Super Nintendo on your PSP. So, yeah, that's uh, Super Nintendo emulator, uh, SNES uh, 9XTYL 0.4.2 um, for your PSP. Uh, again, I will have the link for download, and um, also uh, I will have videos on more ROMs and stuff for you guys to download so you don't have to go searching all around the internet for them and get the wrong ones or virus ones or this and that. So, um, yeah, other than that, hope you enjoy the emulator. Um, I hope you enjoy the games that you find and download. Of. So, yeah, uh, subscribe to my channel, and you'll probably see a video on Super Nintendo ROMs pretty soon. And more videos on PSP, along with iPods and iPhones, touches, things like that. Um, basically anything that's crackable, I, I should say. But um, other than that, take it easy, guys. Again, I will have the link for you for this emulator. And uh, I will have many, many more videos to come. So if you have any recommendations, leave a comment on my channel page. I will probably make that video for you. And uh, other than that, take it easy. And see you next time.